Hey guys, welcome back to my Let's Play of Spiral the Dragon. And where we last left off, we were just about to go into Stone Hill, so let's go! Damn it. Let's go. Ugh, oh, utter fail. See, I just got done playing a really crap ton of, um, Assassin's Creed, so I'm thinking R1's the high profile button and, like, the charge button, but it's not, so. Yeah. Okay, so welcome to the very first level of this Let's Play. I hope to have like two or three videos out for Spyro and then one Crash Bash. Ox! Oh, oh. Wow. Failure within the first couple of, of seconds within Spyro. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh yeah, sheep. If any of you don't know or have never played this game before. Sheep. They give you butterflies. Your dragonfly eats butterflies. And he gets health. And these rams are an asshole. Bam, bam. Okay. Uh, not one of the greatest levels of this game, but okay. Let's go down here. We. <gasps> it's a well and also a dragon. Is this the one that also has the? Yep. Okay. Here is a locked chest. We have to go around the map and we have to find the key that goes to this. I know where it is, and I'm going to show you in probably a little bit once I get through at least a little bit of this. Um, Matt. But for now, let's open the dragon. You've rescued Gavin. Shut up. Bam. Okay. Do, 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 do. Where's the whirlwind? Whee! Spyro go boom. Bam. All right. Where am I going? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Sorry, guys. Just kind of got caught up in the moment. Let's go to this part first. I heard a na 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 na. Oh, you guys are going to see the other collectible mechanic in this game. Besides the gems and the dragons. Oh, and as you guys see, as you kill an enemy, you get a gem. As they told you. Probably just being dumb right now. Ah, I wonder what that is down there. Oh, here's the end of the level. You can go and end the level right there now if you want. But, you know what? We're going to stay committed and we're going to complete this whole map 100%. And you rescued Astor. <laughs> Shut up. Old man. Old man. Old man. Old man. Okay. Damn it. Assassin's Creed mode still. Damn it. And the camera views. I can't for keep forgetting L2 and R2 are the camera views. Uh, oh, I should have went down there. Damn it. Messing up already. And let's go! Damn it. Alright. Ooh, a little secret passageway. There's going to be a couple of these. Well, more than a couple throughout the whole game. And what's that? It's a key. I wonder where that goes to. The Missed the key, Spyro. Bam, 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 bam. Ugh. I don't know about you guys, but this game... There's always... As a little kid, I always had a problem playing this game. Because I always had this weird feeling in my gut that there's just... I was kind of... A sense of loneliness, I guess. And a kind of a sense of dullness. This game was not the greatest game in the series, I'd have to say. I'd have to say Spyro 2, my personal favorite, was the greatest game in the series. But most people would argue that Spyro 3 is. I, however, do not. And I'll explain my reasons maybe later. Maybe during Spyro 2 I'll explain my reasons why, but it's really not important right now because we got to play Spyro 1. And oh yeah, after this, expect a, um, expect a Let's Play on, um, um, oh damn it, hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, text messages. They get us all. Ah, I can't believe I missed that whole row of stuff. Okay. See that and let's see that. Anyway, after this, expecting a um, let's play of Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Although, that is my very favorite one, and I cannot wait to be doing it. Spyro 3, I'm still thinking about it. I've actually been thinking about it ever since I said it within the first Spyro video. Just that game, I remember playing through that game and trying to. Okay, shut up. I'm trying to talk. Um, I remember playing through that game. 
um, probably like a couple months ago and I beat it like 112 or 17 percent or something like that it's some weird odd number and um, it wasn't that fun um, I had I actually had to quit for a week oh son of a bitch those will haunt me forever what the fuck okay die okay anyway I remember playing through the game and I didn't quite enjoy it for a week I had to quit because I remember getting aggravated on the last home world which um was ooh, I don't remember it's still midnight castle thingy and god those I was I just got done with this um this I got done finishing this um what much am I call it like an Egyptian type base level I can't remember exactly what's called the Pharaoh's tomb I don't know don't quote me on that because I have no freaking clue but anyway, I just got done finishing that and I just completely raged for about 10 minutes and then I shut the game off and then go back to it for like a week that game that just pissed me off and then then that one um, that one freaking level you guys will see if I decide to LP it which will probably be most likely um there's just so much Hello, my friend. shut up there's so much the levels are just not really my type like Spyro 2's levels are have a lot more fun in them and the mini games are as an ass and annoying like there's a difference between the mini games being challenging and them just being really just stupid and plain retarded like all of agent nine's missions or not agent nine agent zero the monkey whatever his name is oh motherfucker damn i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get oh wait i'm dumb damn it bye bye and here's the other collectible the eggs which inspire they return in spyro 3 now back to talking about spyro 3 anyway the mini games or the little mini things that you gotta do with um, all the other characters are just plain out annoying. And I missed gems back there, didn't I? Like Agent, like I was saying, Agent Zero. His his missions are aggravating, especially the one you have to do in was it the fireworks factory? Which, by the way, is a great music soundtrack. Um, yeah, the one you have to do. What you have to do in there is you have to like go to this whole like little areas and you have to shoot from a first person point of view and um, I'll be the first to say well probably not the first to say I don't really enjoy first person shooters a lot I play I, I was hooked into Call of Duty for maybe about a year and that was Call of Duty 4 back when that was popular um, I was hooked on that for a little while and then after that basically it went downhill from there I bought you know um, World at War and then you know I just kind of lost interest in it wasn't really um, my favorite. I'm missing four gems. Am I? How many gems are in this? Wait, no. This. Yes, I'm missing gems. Continue. Ow, I got a itch. I didn't know you can exit the level from there. Okay. Oh, here. Wait, this. No. I'm still missing more. I'm missing one gem. You fucking asshole. Ugh. Um, anyway, what was I talking about? 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 I lost what I was talking about. Great. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Oh, yeah, first person shooters. I, not really the one that liked first person shooters. After World at War, the Call of Duty series kind of went down the hill for me. And then, you know. Having to deal with that in Spyro, yeah, no, that just aggravated me. And also the Agent um, Zero mission in, um, what should I call it? That um, Egyptian thing I was talking about. There's like four or five, four arena. I don't know how many arenas there are. It's been a while since I played the game. But there's a certain there's a certain number of arenas. And you have what you have to do is you have to go in and eliminate all the enemies in each arena. And, um, basically, I get to, like, the third arena, and then everything will just start going to hell, because I keep getting hit with them damn mummies with freaking 
pharaoh sticks. They piss me off. Huh? Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, gem, 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 gem. And we are done. 200 of 200 gems. Did I get everything? I got all the dragons, and I got the one egg that comes in here. Okay, cool. Now back to the other level. Anyway, um, yeah, that I just keep dying. Mainly because of that, and I think I'd get hit with um those big like earth shaper things from Spyro 2, if any of you remember what that what those um motherfuckers were. They freaking killed me a lot. They just because they throw their stupid little exploding snowballs at me and it killed me a lot. And you only get like one, two three. You only get like three or four hits until you're dead. And I was very clumsy at that game, so I didn't do so good. And, um, holy shit, I only have 41 hours that I can... Wow. I need to invest into an external hard drive. Um, anyway, yeah, that's pretty much some some of the things that are wrong with Spyro 3 for me. I'm gonna kill this guy. I killed these sons of bitches already, but... Okay, come here. All right. Those little pearl things, you can collect them, and they go around your whole face, and you get a, um, and you get, a an extra life. Which one shall I do next? I'll go do that one. Alright, guys, and, um, that will conclude our, um, that will include, um, this part of Spiral the Dragon, and next... We'll be going back into... We'll be, uh, going back into... Yeah, we didn't even go into it. We'll be going into Dark Hollow. See you guys then.